Well, we're back at you again with part two of Make Me a Sanctuary. I just wanted to continue this because I'm not finished with it and neither is my father. You know, I got up this morning, I went into prayer. In fact, I backed up just a little bit. Last night, I spent a lot of time studying on cryopulence. There's a word I wanted to bring, a matrix of the morning. One of the rhemas of God, the, one of the, um, the bars of the Father, one of the voices within the Holy of Holies. So it says cryopulence, which is the Elijah Elisha enterprise. And I wanted to bring that, and then I, I was studying that, then I started studying the two covenants, and then I started uh, uh, studying out the two um, administrations. I thought, I'll bring some of this around today. And I really spent a lot of time studying. Then I went to bed last night and got up this morning, went into prayer, and I really got into worship. Man, I just began to just have the presence of God, and I kind of got lost into that and did a kenosis, which is I emptied out. And I said, no, I have no desire to do anything but that which pleases you. And I said to him, Father, I, I am yours. How may I serve you today and honor you? And I was on my knees praying when I said that. And the word of the Lord, make me a sanctuary. I knew right then he brought back what he brought, brought to me a few months ago. I knew he wanted me to tell you this, to share this with you. So I'm doing this. Today, this is a rhema of God, or I like the word debar. This is where... The word of the Lord comes from within the Holy of Holies. This is a prophetic moment for you. God is commanding through the request, make me a sanctuary. Though he's even asking you to do that, he's asking you to do that with the commandment behind it, if you understand that. You are not your own. You've been bought with the price. So therefore today, do not... Present it to yourself, that you have the right to yourself. You do not. You're bought with the price. You're crucified with Christ. You may not know this, but you're dead. You're a dead man. You've been death, buried, and resurrected, and now you're in a new creation. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus, so act like it today. Amen? We're going to act like He owns us, that we've been purchased. We've been bought with the price. Somebody else purchased us. Now, I'll go back, if you would, to... Exodus chapter 25, I'm going to read verses 8 and 9. Exodus 25, 8 and 9. Let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, according to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even shall, so shall you make it. Two things he said there, make me a sanctuary, and then you are, and if the word make means to build, prepare, to prepare or to build or to make. So he says, prepare me a sanctuary, build me a sanctuary, make me a sanctuary according to the pattern of the tabernacle. 